Hello, everybody. How are you? Are you ready for another episode of our Hen House Happy Hour Product Showcase? Anyone? Well, I have Lizzie with me tonight. Now, you've probably seen her several times on Take Home Tuesday with me, and she's a great, fabulous help around the store. But Heidi is away, and so here is a fill in the blank for you tonight. When the boss is away, dot, 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 dot. What would you fill it in with? In all seriousness, though, Heidi is on vacation. She's in Minnesota. She sent us a picture not long ago that she was ready for product showcase. Maybe she's going to comment all the way, but it kind of looked like she was really like chilling out and relaxing, maybe even had her swimsuit on. Yeah. And so where do you vacation? And Lizzie, where do you, where do you vacation? I actually just got back from the lake. We have a cabin in Minnesota. So that's where I go. My whole family goes there, too. So it's pretty northern, north. north Minnesota, it's about seven hour car ride. It's so. way up north because yeah. I know exactly where she goes because yep. I go to the same area as she does as well. Now, Heidi's in Minnesota, Lizzie got back from Minnesota, Jackie, who is behind the camera for us tonight, recently got back from Colorado. So what other places do you vacation at? Um, I'm getting ready to go to State Fair. We go to Rathbun Lake a lot. I don't, you know, I guess it's kind of lucky when we have, you have had the built-in lake yes. place uh, growing up. I've had a built-in lake place growing up. So it's kind of lucky, it's kind of like a vacation, but we get it all the time. Mm -hmm. We take it for granted probably that way. But we're getting ready to go to State Fair, which is another vacation, and stay tuned for that. We'll talk a little bit more about the State Fair later. More importantly than where you vacation, though, is I'm quite certain Heidi would like to know what drink you would recommend while she is vacationing. So if you have any sort of drink recipe or suggestion, maybe Heidi will tell us, um, if she has a glass of wine right now, I don't know. She's not a big drinker. That makes it sound like she's <laughs> terrible. But, you know, it's kind of fun to exchange some different ideas with people. But do we have a special night for you? So I'm teasing that um, both Jackie and I are piano players and musicians, but we should have brought a keyboard so we had some live music playing in the background because we're going to have a little runway show for you tonight. Are you ready for the runway? Lizzie, are you ready? I'm ready. Okay, Lizzie is going to be our model tonight. So we've been telling you for quite some time now that we, are, we have some new products coming. And Lizzie and her cuteness is gonna be modeling those new products for you. Are you ready to see them? They are cute, they are fun. We have our traditional logo, but we've also, add, and, the, and the vintage sewing machine, which has been super popular because of the um, scripture thing that is on it. She works with her hands to delight from Proverbs. It's a wonderful um, scripture and reminder for all of us. But we also added a brand new um, graphic to one of our things too that go along goes along with the necklaces and spoons that we've been selling recently limited edition so they will be coming on soon but Lizzie are you ready for ready. product number one all right here's product number one now Lizzie you gotta step on the okay. post and Jackie you're gonna tell us if we need to go closer or not this is choose happy is it not adorable <laughs> choose happy Lizzie is wearing it um, <laughs> you know it, it is exactly the same design are similar to the it's the same phrase that we've been using in everything that we do because Heidi believes that choose happy is good so this is num uh, our first product now each one of these can be found in hen house happy hour um, or if you go to gifts you want to go get the next one on yep. okay if you go to gifts um, it can be in there and we'll also give you the SKU numbers they all start with a T okay so like I look it up because that one is um, I did not write it down. Oh, T2108. And then the size would be, if you want a small, T2108F. If you want a medium, T2108M. So it's very easy. If you happen to not see a size when you're looking online um, that you would like, just give us a call at the store. Shoot us an email at info at henandchickstudio.com, and we'll make sure and check out, see if we can get some different sizes and stuff for you. So that was our first one of the Choose Happy. It does come in small through 3X. Um, I'm not sure, but I have a couple more sizes available as well in that one. Kind of a fun, bright yellow cup color that definitely makes you feel happy and you stand out from a crowd when you're wearing this color. All right, our next one going from bright yellow to a kind of a vintage gold color. This is our traditional, um, she works with her hand to delight from Proverbs 31, 13. Um, if you can look at this one, it has a, it's kind of hard to see it probably on camera, but it has the bronze ink a shiny has a little shiny. shimmer to it mm -hmm. um this one is a little softer, softer. fit yes it's really soft it's pretty thin but 
Very lightweight. Um, if you can look at, I'm gonna try to do a close up of that ink there too. But this one is a little bit, um, what size are you wearing in this I'm one right now? I'm wearing a medium for this one, so it's a little too big on me, but you could always tuck it in or wear it big. Or tie it up, tie like it's very popular right now, especially with the young girls like yes. Lizzie's age. But I'm gonna try while she's going to her next one and see if I can bring this in close. And Jackie, you're gonna have to help me with this to see if we're close to getting it. Yes, and maybe you can kind of see the little shimmer in there. Um, and that bronze color, how it stands out so nicely. And we've had a lot of people really enjoy this logo. Um, and maybe you can even almost see the texture of this shirt. I'm petting it, I realize, as I'm doing this. It's a softer texture. Um, I do like the um, sleeves kind of have a little bit more of a detail. Can you see that in there? Mm -hmm. A little bit more of a detail with the cross hatch on there. Just a little bit different. Um, it is a finished bottom with that same detail as well. So Liz is going to come back in here with our next shirt. Are we having fun on the runway? I feel like we should yes. be singing songs. Did, did, okay, same brand of shirt, same style. This is just the traditional logo with the purple on purple. Okay, and so once again, this one, all these, I didn't give you the last few number for that, but this purple on purple one, it would start with the T and it's 2102. So then you follow it with the size that you would like. So 2102S, 2102M. Lizzie, what do you think about this one? This, I think this one might be my favorite. Purple's my favorite color. So I really <laughs> like this one, and they're also really soft. So I like this and one. this one, you have the small on in. I have the small on So you can kind of so see the difference yeah, in Yeah, this one fits a little bit better. Yeah. So our logo with the purple on purple. On these ones, I would say these are unisex sizing. Uh, I would say these ones are a little bit generous in their sizing for certain, compared to some other unisex sizing. Definitely a soft, soft fit on it with the purple on purple come up just a little bit. I know um, there are some people out there that love purple, so give us a huge thumb up if you're liking the purple one. Um, I can think of some people I could start naming names that they're, that would wanna be doing this one. Um, so that is the purple one. Let me go back, grab the uh, yellow one was, oh gosh, uh, screen number on that gold one with the bronze was T2103. Okay, again, under our products, you would find it gifts and then apparel or hen and chicks gear or all of the items we're talking about tonight are also found in the hen house hat category in the products as well. All right, so our next one is actually kind of a fan favorite here yes, too. I like this one. So Lizzie, what do you think of this one? What, um, what would you say? Well, it's kind of the same as the purple one, just more neutral colors. I like this one. I feel like it can match with anything. Yeah. So it'd be good. It's the white on a natural color. This is also a soft, it's a different brand, but a soft style. Yeah, it's very soft. It kind of goes back to um, the collar differences yep. between them, if I can this hold one. this up to you. So that one is your more traditional collar, where this one kind of has a little bit more of a yeah, rolled collar. And that one has, come up real close, can you see the double, she has the double sleeve, typical hem, where this one kind of has a little bit more of a detailed hem on it, or hem, sleeve cuff, whatever you want to say on that I think one. these ones also fit a little bit big. This is a medium, so. Great to tie it. up. Mm -hmm. um, if you're like me at all, you do, I like to cut my t-shirts on those, like that one, that's more of a traditional one, I cut them off, cut the collar and the sleeves off and make them into um, kind of a, Slouchier shirt, so to speak. Um, and so that natural one is T2105. And I betcha Heidi, we can't even see, but I betcha Heidi's adding some of these, isn't she, as we're going along and commenting? Not sure. Has anybody given any drink suggestions to Heidi yet? Or vacation spots, maybe, that we should be checking out? Go ahead. We, you know, the more people we have commenting, the more fun it is for everybody in involved. So this one was T2105. Again, Look online, this one does come up to 3XL as well. If you're online and you have a product size that you don't see or want to um, find more information about, always give us a call. All right, we're ready for the next one. Did I tell you there's nine of them? There is nine of them. So poor Lizzie's doing quick change at the side here. All right, this one, different. way different yes. from anything we've had. So you're gonna have to give a little spin on this one, I think. Um, it's kind of more of like the waffle material. So that's, I like it, it's really soft and a little thinner than those ones. And then the three quarter sleeves. Perfect going into, I love, and I like this Good little neck. Fall. I do too, yep, like this. It is longer, I have it tucked under, so it does go pretty long. 
be great. This is a small. It, and it would be great over like leggings, leggings and stuff too. Yeah, especially going into the fall with the longer sleeves. Yeah. It'd be good. Thank, all right, Lizzie. She's she's getting a workout. She's sweating. <laughs> um, so let's come in close if you can see what she's talking about with that waffle knit, if you're unfamiliar with that. So the waffle knit has a different little texture to it. It also, I mean, back up, Jackie, you tell me if it's far enough. Um, since I don't have it on, it kind of it has a curved, a slightly curved hem at the bottom. So it has, it's kind of maybe a little bit dressier, but perfect for this transition on the cool summer nights or into fall. This one was one that we all loved, and it has that traditional Hen and Chicks logo on it, but super cute. Again, all of these are on the website. This one, um, I'm not sure what size this one goes up to because I didn't look. I know it goes up to, to 2X at the minimum. Might go higher, but I'm not sure. And that's T2101, and then, of course, followed by S M L X L F. how you want it to go. All right, so we're almost there. Next one, we have this blue. I really like this one. I haven't tried this one on yet. <laughs> but I feel like these ones fit better for me. They're a woman's cut, so they're a little smaller. Yep, and that this is back to our um, vintage sewing machine, which we've had a lot of people like, and with the V-neck on it. Yeah. And Lizzie did point out that this one is a woman's cut, mm -hmm. so it is definitely more fitted. Um, so just bear that in mind. Lizzie is wearing the small uh, in this one. If you watched um, Take Home Tuesday last week, if you watched Take Home Tuesday last week, I was actually wearing that one, and I, on that episode, was wearing a medium. Um, in the product, there's a picture of Heidi and I, and I'm wearing that one, and Heidi's wearing one that's coming up soon, if you're looking ahead. Um, and I was wearing the medium in that picture, and Heidi was wearing the large. It is a fitted um, item with the V-neck, but where it's okay to have some items that maybe are a little bit cut more feminine for people, but it does go up to the 2X size as well from S small to the 2X sizing. And that one with the blue was T2104. And then she's bringing back now the one that Heidi was wearing in that picture, which is Heidi's favorite saying. Choose happy. So this one is just like that one, but the different choose happy logo, same V-neck. It's the same cut too, so that's good. And doesn't Lizzie look cute in it, right? <laughs> if we all could look as cute as Lizzie, that would be awesome. But yeah, so again, with this one, it is a women's cut. It does have a little bit more of a narrow um, neckline with the, and the V versus a unisex one. And the cut is a bit more fitted through the bust in the waist area on those. So that red one, um, which Heidi's probably way ahead of me, is T2109. So we've had Choose Happy. Are, uh, are you liking the new the new logos and the new product? Give us some hearts and thumbs up. Comment. The more you comment, the more fun you have. Um, more chances you have to get feedback from other people and some special things. Um, Lizzie's come back now. We might be a little late to the game on these ones. I'm not going to lie because it is the end of summer. However, some tank tops. we've had a lot of requests for these and there will be hot days still ahead. Yes. Oh, this one is blue, different shades of blue. It's really thin, so perfect for the summer and the warm weather, I feel like. Mm -hmm. And and the V-neck, so give it a spin here so they can see what the back is. It, it does not have the the racer back, which some people are not fond of. It has more of the, it's a slight razor back, racer back, but not the real narrow racer back. Um, again, turn around, it has uh, the rounded hem with a slightly longer cut in the back. So it, um, it looks really good, and the V-neck is uh, gives a little bit dressier than yep. what it would be. And and Lizzie said they are thin, they are, um, but they're very nice for the summertime and working out um, under jackets too. They're really cute, and the girls had these on. Um, again, the sizing on this it is kind of more of a woman's fit, but it, I would say say they're still generous. So this one with the mint, um, I so apologize, I don't have these memorized. Is two one oh seven, so T two one oh seven with the mint, with the true blue. Looks like summer, looks like pool to me. And Lizzie's probably getting tired of this, but she's coming back, we're, we're almost like getting there. Runway. Yeah, it's like a runway. So this is the same um, style, but this one's called red marble. So the back's the same on this one, right? Mm -hmm. Yep. Yep. It's same, it's very thin too, just like the other one. Very lightweight. Um, 
And when we say thin, we don't mean inappropriately thin. No. <laughs> okay. Just lightweight, good yeah. for the summer. Yeah. It'll help keep you cool. And again, that V-neck is a little bit dressier than some of the tank tops. And, mm -hmm. and the um, sides. Under. And so Lizzie's wearing the small mm -hmm. right now. Yep. And so the side isn't way open, so you see the whole yep. bra either. So you can wear it with a traditional bra yep. or a sports bra. Yep, either way on that. Okay, so that one was T2106, the red marble. All right, I think we just have two left. And this one we'll just have, we're going to bring back one that we already have because it is so cute. And maybe some of you have missed this. But this is our product, our new, and we're very excited for them. Not going to lie, I'm not even sure what my favorite one, if I had to pick one, what it will be. It might be hard. So Lizzie's come back in, but this is one that we've had for a little while. Oh, it's a great, heavier. Yes, well, not as lightweight, good for the fall, I'd say. It's not super heavy. It's not like lined in the inside yeah. at all. Just it's just a good like t-shirt, honestly yep. t-shirt. And then it has some cute detailing on it with yeah. um, the cuffs, and then on the side, I don't know if you can see that, with the splits yes. on the side. And Lizzie, I won't make you put the other one on, but why don't you grab the other color we have of that and the terracotta. And <clears throat> hands out to Lizzie, right? Let's give Lizzie a round of applause for her quick changes. So this one is the terracotta color. So and then, same thing, just different color. And that one is for the Ness Retreat Center. Okay, so Jackie, how are we doing? Are we doing good? Are we having questions? Anybody have anything? I guess Heidi's on there. She can be looking away. Yep. All right, so that is our new apparel. Um, we hope that you can go to our website and find them if you're interested or have questions make sure you give us a call now we're going to do a little scenery change so jackie's going to pan slowly and try not to make you sick as we go around the store and we're going to switch to some of our new products so as jackie's going go ahead jackie we don't have to be in there with you you can enjoy a little bit of the store as she's going and see some of our different products if you haven't been here for a while we have rearranged as well so you might find some and see some different things that you haven't seen before the solar flare on the wall um, the corner over there galactic explosion we've kind of rearranged a lot of things and then that's the front of our store up there Okay, so now we're going to shift over here. i got to take a drink. No worries, I don't have anything exciting <laughs> in here. <laughs> Let's talk about some new fabric and some kits that we just got in. And I think I really want to start with the crazy sock yes. monkey. So if this one we is so hot off the press, we just got this one back. I actually did this unboxing video. Yes, so Liz, you got to see from the beginning to the end. This is our Sammy. Oh, we should make it for Sam. <laughs> Wouldn't he love the crazy sock monkeys? So, I, Liz, I don't know. We're going to have to back up a little bit to try to get it. But this is our Sammy. And this is a quilt kit that we just got put together. Uh, this is hot off the press. It just came back. And maybe we can slide up just a little bit closer so you can get some of that. Jackie, how's that looking? Good. Okay, um, this quilt kit comes with enough fabric that you could make, as we have here is the crib size, but there's enough fabric in there that you can make the lap size as well. But if you choose the lap size with the kit, you'll need to buy the binding extra. And so we do have those kits available. Um, they're so new we don't even have the labels in them. And the SKU number for that is QK, as in quilt kit, 2117 and the pattern for this is sold separately in uh, stripology mixology 2 speaking of drinks there's mm -hmm. drink recipes in here but stripology mixology 2 by uh, GE designs which we love and it's in here all the patterns in this book are really great and she does have some drink recipes in it too if you're interested in that um, so that's also available on our website or under um, Hen House Happy Hour Product Showcase. Let's look a little bit closer at some of these fabrics while we have it because we have a backing fabric for this. Lizzie's pulling it out right now that you cannot see. So let's, let's unroll just a little bit. There we go. So this is a fabric we got to go along with this line that we thought would just make adorable. 
backing fabric or just a cheater quilt easily yes. put it together with oh, some red cuddle backing or the brown cuddle tan be super cute so that is the background that we got lizzie can you read the skew number on that end of the bolt this is 11089 11089 and that's part of this collection we have the whole collection back here we're just gonna pull it all up here so you can see um, and we're going to go through it real fast so you can kind of see. I know it's in the quilt, but sometimes it's nice to actually see it on the bolt as well. And then, of course, the crazy socks. <laughs> I mean, who doesn't remember Sock Monkey? Well, maybe. Do you remember Sock Monkey? No, monkeys? not really. Kind of. Kind of. But I never did them. Uh, I think Heidi posted uh, last week, I think maybe it was, there was a picture of the girls in their Sock Monkey socks. Now these ones are super cute. Again, it's mm -hmm. great for the youth uh, collection, but it's not gen um, gender specific. Yep. So that's really nice to have. And you could of course pair these some um, with some of the melange collection or some of the um, other backgrounds that we have to create your own pattern. I feel like this is almost taller than me, but that's no. perfectly <laughs> fine. Okay, so that's that. And then there's one more that we don't have a whole bunch left. So if you are interested in this, uh, we maybe have a yard and a half of this left. It's what we used for the binding on that one. Be a great binding, be a great um, bias binding too. So you get the diagonal stripe on that. So again, this is the um, Monkey Biz is actually what the collection is called. And this is our Sammy quilt kit out of Stripology Mixology too. Fun product or fun little kit that we have to go. All right. Moving right along. It seems kind of quiet without Heidi here, doesn't it? I don't know if that's good or bad. <laughs> All right, so behind us, or, or Jackie, I don't know, can you see that one up there? Mm -hmm. We've shown this before a little bit, but um, we just finally got this Dance in Paris in, and that line of fabric is available, but it is going very, very fast as well. And we also have that quilt kit available. We're not gonna show all of the fabric in that collection because it is a very large collection, but we do have the quilt kit. Um, the quilt kit is QK2111, um, and it uses this X and O. It's Hey There, Love Everywhere, and that pattern is also available on the website, but adorable. Love the, I love how it uses the navies to the greens yeah. and then into the pinks. The grays are probably what we have the most left of, but the grays are really, really cool as well. So we waited a long time to get that fabric in and we finally have it in. So let's also talk in that fabric line. Whoops, knock some stuff over. We also have some fat quarter bundles available because we know not everybody wants the quilt kit, so we created some fat quarter bundles. Um, and we'll, we can't see if you can see, so you'll have to tell us, Jackie, how yeah, we're doing. Okay. okay, this one kinda has more of the whites and to the pinks. Um, fat quarter 223, you know how we're loving fat quarters around here <laughs> because it gives you a jump start to the project. Yes. Okay, and this one's more of navies and then a little bit of green. And and those fat quarter bundles can be used um, in so many different projects. Yeah, this one has some of the grays up top, pinks and the greens, not as many of the navies. So, and then that's the back one. You know, Lizzie, I probably should have said, I, they, I don't know if they can see it, maybe grab a bowl off the end over there. It does have some metallic in it, so right on the end right there, just grab one of those. Um, it has some metallic in it. We'll put up a bolt here really close to so that you can see better than one that's wrapped. This one, I don't know if we gave the fat quarter, FQ222. Lizzie, just show that, hold that up there if they can see that. It has a, that, just that and hint gold, of metallic yep. gold in it. it may, it's really pretty. It I'm actually really making pretty. a quilt out of that myself too. All right, have we got any drink suggestions or anything or where you're vacationing yet? Because we want to know, is there some place that we should go on vacation that we haven't yet? So every month around here, we have the Stash Buster program. If you're not familiar with our Stash Buster program, um, all the details and rules are on our website. Um, we're not gonna go through all of it, but just highlight a couple things. It is a great opportunity to get 40% off your order. 
ding, ding, ding. That's enough. Who doesn't want that? Exactly, right? Um, and so this time, this month, it is Stack of Scraps. And we're going to open this up. You, if you're watching on Friday, Kelly and I did this a little early because we knew we'd be gone. But you can see on this one, you could really vary your and use your scraps. You could also easily add another row. Now remember, if you're doing um, the Stash Buster, it has to be minimum of the size that we have stated, but you can always make it larger. I just love on this one, I don't know if you can see in that star with the white, how it plays in with all the colors on here. Now this we've, cr we've created a little bit different. If you aren't sure what you want and you wanna use what we've come up with, we did it a little different this time where we created a stack of scraps fat quarter bundle. Hold that for me, Lizzie. Yep. As well as a background. Because we know maybe you don't want the blue background. Mm -hmm. So you could get the fat quarter bundle and then add a different color background or a white or a gray or something different like that. Or if you just wanted this is two and a half yards and you like how that looks, but you have your own um, scraps other, at home. Yeah, scraps Jeez. at home, then you could use those so these two aren't sold together they're sold separately and i don't know if we told why don't you tell them the numbers because i don't know if we did or not this fat quarter bundle is one zero three three four for that one then this one is one zero three three four b so it's just a little it's it's again giving you opportunities and different ideas um, of different things you can do. And we know the sun is kind of being funky right now. I don't know if it looks that way on the camera. Good, yes. because I can tell it kind of is. We're like in a thing. So again, um, some cute fabrics. I'm gonna hold it up just so you can see some of those fabrics that are included in this one. A lot of fun. We sure appreciate all of our people that do participate in the um, Stash Buster. We do try hard to keep up, but sometimes, I'm not going to lie, I fall a little behind yes. on getting everybody that brings one in, their picture posted. I try. Um, it's on our website under Stash Buster, um, and if you go down to the bottom of that Stash Buster page, the down, free downloadable pattern is on there, but scroll down to the bottom and it will have all of our past months, and if you cl click on that, it will take you to different pictures of what people have done. Mm -hmm. It's and fun just, to see everyone's, they're all different, so it's fun to see what everyone posts. Yeah, and sometimes it's really interesting, mm -hmm. the combinations people yeah. put together, or things that you, well, I don't know about you. Lizzie is learning so much, I'm telling yes. you, Lizzie is leaving for college in... About two weeks. Two weeks, and we will miss her terribly. Mm -hmm. She's come so far this year, and she's a yeah, great help I around I didn't here. really know anything about quilting when I started, but... She's got it now. She's got it now. Kind now, of, a little bit. now we just got to be our sewing more, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah. Someday. Um, anyway, I digress. It is cool, and sometimes the things that people put together are surprising. Yeah. But how it turns out mm -hmm. is like neat. Things you wouldn't ever think of. So it's fun to see everyone else's ideas. And stepping out of your comfort zone sometimes mm -hmm. is we know her favorite color is purple. Yes. And that she would tend to go to purples, but sometimes putting something different in mm -hmm. or thinking outside the box. Yep. That being said, I don't know if you guys remember City Girl Chevron from a few months ago. I don't even remember what it is. I don't know, Jackie. I don't know if you can see it back here, way back here on this. I don't know if you can even see I'm way back here. Yeah. City Girl Chevron. No, let's just, maybe I can pull it off. Here. We showed this one a few months ago, but we've had a lot of interest in this pattern. And what I love about this pattern is so many different, well, with any pattern, the color variations you could use and do on this one. Now we used um, grays primarily with a touch of the metallic and the and the black with and then a kind of a turquoisey bluish mm -hmm. kind of trying to keep give it a different flair. Well I gotta show you today somebody came in and she's not the first customer that came in and decided she wanted to do this but in a different way. So I'm gonna show you what we ended up with her today. Because this is what I want people to understand. If you come here to Hen and Chick Studio we love to help you pick out and put together different um, quilt projects and do it. But this is not where she started, but this is where she ended up with her City Girl Chevron. And I cannot wait to see it. So her accent colors or the stripes are both in the golds. 
But I was, I was sitting out at the end of the day, and I mm. thought, this is so cool. It's it such is. a pretty, um, there's a lot of different patterns I think would be well and look good in this. But she's using a lot of our new Philippa collection in here. Uh, some Philippa, some quilters coordinates, and a little bit of a couple other things. But sometimes it takes time. You have to audition the fabrics, put them together, add, subtract, remove. Um, and that's what she did with this until we got to this point. Mm -hmm. Wasn't where she started, but I'm really, I can't wait to see what it turns out like. So that's your little customer envy for the day because I really like that, how it turned out. Let's go ahead and see if we can get this moved. Somebody said to me today, you build up your muscles when you're moving all the fabric <laughs> around here. Yeah, I think that definitely happened when we were rearranging the store. We got a good <laughs> workout in those few days. We did. Climbing up the ladders. Moving <laughs> stuff. <laughs> yes. yeah. And the ladder is lightweight. Okay, we have another new one that we've talked about some of the fabrics in, um, but we hadn't had the quilt sample in. And this one you can't see all the fabrics in. But Jackie, I'm going to move this chair because we can't bring this one down. Um, it's the one hanging up up there when you walk in. Kind of a glare. Kind of a glare. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we'll take a picture of it and post it, but it's beautiful and it's very striking um, quilt. So we do have this quilt kit. This would be QK2102 for that. Number. And we'll try to take a picture, a still picture of it that's yes. better because we can't obviously take that one down from the wall at all. Okay, we have a couple more things to show you. Um, hopefully you're enjoying it so far. Give us a thumbs up. We're, we're not used to doing this on our own. I know. So. I've actually never done it. So. Oh, yeah. This is, your, this is my debut. Yeah. Your debut and your farewell party. Yes, I know. All, All in one. one. <laughs> so <laughs> yep. exciting. Yep. Okay. Little Fawn and Friends. Such a cute collection. We have it right back here in the suitcase. We don't even have the quilt sample done yet but we have taken one of our old Stash Buster patterns. So there's a free pattern included in this kit. Um, QK2105, but let's grab those, Lizzie. Let's just bring them up and see if we can manage this together. And then we'll see if we can get some of these close up because this collection is adorable. Look at this. And when you get over here, there's hedgehogs. And then in this, I think there's fox and squirrels. There's a skunk on there. Rabbits. There's a squirrel by himself. Squirrels. Which makes me think all the little, like they chatter in the trees and get mad at you. Uh -huh. And then the little fawn, can you get that one a little? Is that not adorable? No, I gotta tell you also, equally as adorable as these um, prints that are just more your botanical print. Mm -hmm. One gal came in and her granddaughter's name was Fern. Uh -huh. And she bought this fabric because there's ferns in it. I thought that was so cute. But again, so this quilt kit, we don't even have the sample back yet. I can't wait to see it. So let's see if we can move this out here. So we can get it. it does include the free pattern. Teamwork makes the dream work. Yep. So it does include the free pattern, which was one of our stash busters. And you know, that's what we want you to remember. These stash busters that are downloadable, you can go back and download other stash busters from the past. We're not policing you whether you make them or not. That's your choice. But even if you make it once for the stash buster and earn that coupon or that discount, doesn't mean that you can't remake it again in a different way or a different um, color scheme in a couple years to go back to those free patterns. So keep that in mind when you're looking around for new projects that those, those stash buster patterns are always there. We did bring one back in July that was kind of a patriotic one. Yep. And they're on the website under the free patterns or under stash buster um, so that you can download them from there. Okay, any questions so far? I have to take another drink. All right, we're getting close to some of the fabric, but let's talk about some other stuff before we get show any more fabric. Um, we mentioned before that I'm going to the state fair. Yes. So we are, which you've probably heard by now, and if you've watched us at all, going live from the fair every day. And we have some 
great things coming that you can play along with us. So I want you to be paying attention, be watching, because every day there's going to be a different, how shall I say it, clue, clue. Yeah. for them to fill in. So you don't have to be in Iowa, you don't have to be attending the Iowa State Fair to play along with us and to be entered into our um, prize ribbon winners. Yep. I don't know how else to <laughs> say it. Um, so we do have a, a State Fair page that all of those things will be posted on. You can go back and view the videos. There'll be videos, there'll be stories and pictures. pictures yep. And so the clues will and the answers will be found in any of those mm -hmm. every day of the fair. So there's 12 days of the fair yep. and there's three or four bonus questions too. Mm -hmm. So maybe you're not from Iowa, maybe you're not a State Fair lover, but you, you might learn participate. some things. And you might learn something about the fair. Like fun. today, Lizzie, I was just showing you some things I already pre-did yes. at the fair. Mm -hmm. Lizzie didn't even know where some of the stuff was. No, I don't. So, yeah, maybe we need to get Lizzie to the fair, too. I don't know. So be watching for that, because that's coming up starting, well, we started our first video um, last Saturday. Mm -hmm. We'll be starting videos this weekend, and then every day it starts August 12th. 12th with our first video being August 11th, the night before. So just be watching and playing along with that. So that's one of the up, upcoming things that we have coming soon your way. Mm -hmm. Also, um, just a friendly reminder about your new red bag. If you have not got your new red bag yet, make sure you give us a call here at the store, mm -hmm. um, send us an email. If you're a member of our red bag club, if you're not a member of our red bag club, it's not hard to get it and once you're a member, you don't get out so um, find all those details as well on our website if you're interested in any of that let's we're going to show a few more fabric collections that we got we don't necessarily have all the fat quarter bundles of them but we're going to show a few more fabric collections to see if we can inspire you with anything so we're going to show first i know it seems strange to be thinking about halloween halloween but but it is August already. Yeah, in school, so, going yes. back to school. What we love about this collection, and do we need to move it closer to you, Jackie? Yep. What we love about this collection is that it is fall Halloween, but it doesn't scream. Yeah, it's it, not crazy. It's not. Hmm, yeah, it's kind of retro. -y. Yeah. So as you can kind of see on those, and then even some of these, um, if, and we've unboxed them, so maybe you saw them before, but we wanted to bring them back. Like this could even be used outside of Halloween if you wanted to. The cats, maybe not so much. But then these ones, the dots, actually have little pumpkins in them. And there's two different colorways of those dots as well. Now this one, we wanted to show you all the fabric because sometimes it's hard when it's in a fat quarter bundle mm -hmm. to actually see it. So this is our retro Halloween collection. Again, all of it should be in Hen House Happy Hour or you can search it online. And Heidi's probably putting some links on it. We're not, we don't need to, um, it's also under holiday, I believe. But we do on that one actually have the fat quarter bundle created for you. This would be great for the mini brick road. If you're not familiar with that pattern, it's a table runner, uh, a great jump start for some of those. And so this has eight fat quarters in it. It's FQ225, it does include um, everything in this collection, I believe. So fun jump start. You know what else we have coming up? This is even more hard to believe. A hundred days till Christmas. Yes. You will be long gone before I then. will be in school. Yes, but September 12th, mm -hmm. I believe is a Sunday, and that week is our kickoff to 100 days to Christmas. Mm -hmm. oh, that's kind of crazy. Crazy to think that, but we know you need to be working ahead of time to get some of those Christmas projects done and so we are not showing you the Christmas ideas tonight as we're going through. The other collection that we've recently got in that's been very popular is our Brilliance collection and we may move over to it but we'll show them the fat quarter bundles too. Um, so this one is FQ221. Lots of like pinks and purple and blue. And so are you wondering what the parentheses behind them mean, even on the descriptions online? That means the number of fat quarters in that bundle. So remember, so many of your um, quilt patterns anymore are calling for 
fat quarters. Mm -hmm. So it's a jump start for you to have a project ready to go. This one is FQ220. And this, this is not the complete collection in these fat quarters, but uh, it is around the corner. And let's see, I don't know if we can get over there, Jackie. Do you think we can? We can try. We'll try. So the, as we go through here, we're going to see what we can get done here. We may not be able to. You might get a little seasick as we're going. We'll try <laughs> not to. We'll try not to. Slow but sure. So you get a look at all of our stuff in here. So we're going to head over to that collection. And right now as you're going, um, we're going to, on this side is um, the new Philippa. Or Philippala. I, not, I never, I'm not really sure how we're saying it. But that's what this is. And as we go around slowly here, we have, you'll just see all the different things. Um, and then the canvas collection here. But where we're going, Jackie, is this right behind you on this side. Okay. See, Jackie's learned a lot about fabrics too. <laughs> so this is the Brilliance Collection. And we have it back with the jelly leaf pattern there, if you can see it at all. And so this Brilliant collection, Brilliance Collection is a very bright, colorful collection but certainly adorable, could make well into the jelly weave or into the um, diamonds in the rough pattern. And it, you know, if you have a different pattern that you think it would look great in, obviously we would love to hear and see what you have in that and if you have any other ideas. Um, and yes, it is not a batik. This is just a, um, a digital print. It is not a batik. You are 100% correct. So from here, Jackie, I'm just gonna have you come this way and we're gonna stop at this where we laid. Um, uh oh. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> That's okay. We get tangled up. Hey, you know what? We're not professionals around here. <laughs> and if somebody wants to think it, then, then they can come help us next time, right? I'm gonna stop here at this collection right here because this is one of our newer collections too. We currently don't even have fat quarter bundles cut from it, but this is our Wednesday collection. So all of this line right here into this row up here, and there's a few behind are the Whimsy Collection. A beautiful collection, great to blend with other items. Uh, standalone could make a whole quilt as well. So I know we're, we're making Jackie work tonight. You know what, Jackie, and if you wanna stay there, that's fine. I can just move everything else so you can set it down. Um, let me grab a couple more things. Do we have any questions? Have you noticed coming through anything, Jackie? Uh, not that I don't think Heidi is an already in Okay, so <laughs> Heidi's doing a great job with it. Okay, we'll let Jackie stay there. And we'll pick up City Girl Chevron up and start cuddling with it. We're going to show you one more new fabric collection. It is so cute. And you can see now probably all of our stuff we have sitting <laughs> yeah. around because we didn't plan to go this way. But the fun part of this one is the stick figures. So anybody remember drawing those stick figures when you were young? Well, we're gonna, let's bring that out, Lizzie. And you'll have to excuse our, um, you get to see the behind the scenes for real this time. This fabric here is part of that collection. Um, and I, this fabric to me has a little bit of a different feel to it. Almost kind of a silky smooth. And so this is all a part of that, and it's called Home is the Collection. So it has these cute flowers in different color waves. Oh gosh, even as I'm laying it here, look at that. It's looking good with these ones right here. Huh. Didn't even plan that. And it has a black version. And the stripes. Now, I like the stripes for binding and cutting it on the bias so it's a... Um, a diagonal binding, I like the look of that. Maybe you do too, but this is the stick figure one. And Lindsay, why don't you read the skew for that one because it's just so this cute. This one is 11086. We have all kinds of different stick people on it, even the little babies crawling around I didn't right here. That. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and a cat. A cat. There's a dog. Oh, that's a cat. A dog. Mm, right, the dog. <laughs> yeah. That all is different cute. Sizes I never looked at it. Know. So that's a really fun one. So that is a new collection we have as well. We don't have fat quarter bundles created of that yet Not either. Yet. Not yet. Okay, so I know we're, we've covered a lot in a pretty fast amount of time tonight. 
So again, our t-shirts, all of our new logo and products are available. All of this is online. Um, don't forget about our red bags, our quilt kits, our um, stash buster, free downloadable patterns. I can't even think, I'm probably forgetting a ton of things. Heidi, jump in. She's on there commenting, <laughs> jump in, Heidi. What we're forgetting, let us know. Oh, somebody's calling. Just, we'll let it go to the voicemail. Oh, or maybe you should answer it, okay. just answer it. Yep, um, and I'm gonna grab, now you're, some of you are gonna laugh at me on this, but just a minute. If I can find where we put everything. You want to come back? Well, we'll see. Let's, let can come over this way there. Yep. Jackie's going to move a little bit. <clears throat> and you're going to see our mess that we've created with all of this exciting product. And it is so much fun to see all this product. Now, what I did. now you may know, um, or you may not know, that my certain degree is actually in education, in elementary education, um, and I taught fine arts, music, drama, movement, all that stuff for several years. So I thought we'd bring the chalkboard out tonight because I want to remind you of a few things that we have coming up, right? So, number one, our next thing we have coming up is the state fair. This is a game to play along with us, okay? And so we might want to be following that. So the state fair we have coming up. Every month, don't forget about the stash buster. Now it's kind of hard to write at an angle, but hopefully my printing you can read tonight. So the stash buster comes out the first of every month. And we'll find out what if that was Heidi giving us things that we've forgotten. Okay, the next thing then that we have coming up, so stay fair, then we're back to school, and then um, we're gonna go to our next product, showcase what actually happened before this, but 100 days to Christmas. And you know what? I forgot something to tell you. This summer, we had two Sundays that we were open, Super Sunday. We had such positive feedback and so many people enjoyed it that we will be having those Super Sundays again for you. The first Super Sunday, I believe, is August 29th. So that would be in between here. The Super Sunday would be August 29th. So write that on your calendar. But the one that we're most excited about that you really want to write, I'm going to make it on the bottom. Kind of bad to see. October 10th. No, third. Third. Erase that. Third. Third. And you know what's happening on October 3rd? That is a Super Sunday. And on those Super Sundays, we'll be open noon to five. But that is also our 10 year anniversary celebration. So make sure you mark that on your calendar right away. Okay, we have another surprise. So since we're coming to the top of the hour, we're going to give away three bundles because you guys have been doing so great on commenting. So we're gonna Heidi's gonna pick three winners out of the commenters, and you guys are gonna get a free fabric bundle. So make sure to get your comments in. Oh yeah, comment away before the end of the hour, and then we're gonna pick three winners at the end of this. And Liz and I don't even know what's going on here, so. <laughs> Heidi's uh, gonna get on the phone and she's gonna pick out the winners. So oh well, this make is gonna sure be to interesting. Your is in. she calling us back or is she on right now? She's on right now. Oh well, hello Heidi. Can we put her on speaker? Let's see. Maybe we don't have speaker on this. <laughs> she's talking and I can't hear her. So hmm. Here we go. All right, Heidi, are you there? I am here and uh, I will be ready when you are. And so there's a lot more comments right huh. now, so tell them to keep commenting. Keep it up. All right, keep commenting. Lizzie, do you want to grab our, um, our wipes so right. can, yep. I can get this written better? So the upcoming events that you want to know about, I got interrupted. Hmm. 
So remember, at the top of the hour, if you weren't with us, we gave you a fill in the blank challenge. That could be a comment that you would get. I'm going to put her on not speaker until we're ready for that. Um, sorry, Heidi. Um, when the boss is away, dot, dot, dot. Now, keep it appropriately rated as well as it can be the typical when the, when the cat's away, the mice will play type thing. So give us something funny. Now, the other thing we think would be really fun and we want to give Goldie and Virginia a challenge. Okay? So if Goldie and Virginia are watching, let's get this so it has the right one. 100 Days of Christmas. It's October 3rd is our 10 year anniversary. Um, if Goldie and Virginia are watching, we would like you to give them a scavenger hunt of things they have to find, try to find photos of. And they're at the lake, so make sure it's stuff outdoors. Mm -hmm. They can go find them. Or something interesting. Yep. Oh, I'm sure they're going to love us a lot, <laughs> Lizzie, for coming up with. So we're going to give you a couple minutes here. We probably, we're going to end it a little bit before um, 8 tonight because we know it's summertime and it's a beautiful night. It is. And there's yes. lots of things that you're doing. So we make, make sure you have the dates in your mind, mark them on your calendar. Remember, we have them online so you can sign up for the product showcase ahead of time um, and get some insider information with that. The other thing I would remind you of too is um, go back and watch those videos in the classes that we held earlier. We've had a lot of questions lately about batting mm -hmm. and binding. And we hosted classes on both of those. Um, the videos, the replays are available on our website or on YouTube. So go back and um, look at those wonderful information. I know I could go back even today and still learn something new. So those all are on there, starting with the Smacks and Needles, um, the Perfect Quarter Inch Seam uh, by Celine Perkins. We had Terry Atkinson with Finishing Your Table Runners. Highly recommend that. Doesn't matter if you're finishing your table runners or quilting, some great tips in that one. Um, GE Designs with Buda and Erla talked to us about um, cutting fabric and how important cutting is and how to use those tools. And then we also had the batting and boy oh boy, all of that stuff I did not know that I needed to learn more on. So, have we gotten a lot more comments going on? Yeah? <coughs> I'll take a drink and let them finish out their commenting. Oh, I can hear them talking and you guys can't. So, let's see, if we bring them back on, uh, let's see if we can get them a little bit more. Okay, so, Heidi. Yes. Okay, you're on now, so hopefully people can hear you. Say hello. Hello, everybody. I love you're on now, so I love this. I can hear you. Say hello. Oh, you yeah, I'm, I'm coming job. through. Huh. Okay, so you'll, you'll have to mute your sound, okay. Heidi. Okay, so okay. let me turn off. <laughs> there we go. I've turned, off, I've turned off you, so I can't hear now, so you guys aren't getting the double echo. Okay, I don't know how this is going to work. Clearly, we have not practiced this, so we hope that we are, you know, um, making people choose wow. happy and right. smile, because why not? I mean, here's the deal. We know everybody that comes into our store has a different story. And when you come into the studio, we don't know what kind of day you're having. It could be an up day, it could be a down day, it could be an in-between day. You could be getting um, some quilting supplies for, um, as we had somebody come in just the other day for their first great-grandchild. You could be just needing to get something for you to do. Um, we don't know your stories when you come in, but we hope when you come into the studio that you always leave with a smile and you've gotten something good. Even if, We don't care if you purchase something as much as that you, that you leave with a smile. Okay, so Heidi. Now I have her. We are ready. Okay. Are ready to pick three winners, are we? Yep, you're ready to pick three winners. Okay, so just give me a second. We are going into the comment finder. Drum roll, please, from somebody, I guess. I don't know. You, there we guys, go. you guys are, you got to be shaking your heads at us right now. I'm quite certain <laughs> we have to provide some entertainment for you. All right, Heidi, number one. I'm, I'm hanging on. It's, um, <laughs> okay, we're hanging on. Hold it's on. It's, I'm just hang on a second. Technology is fabulous. <laughs> um, Would you like us to sing a song? 
Yeah, we can always show you some more fabrics. Um, we can do a pan, um, all that sort of time. stuff. See, Jack, uh, Jackie's uh, going to be creating. Me, it's giving me, it's giving me a funny message. Just give me one second. That's I'm okay. working on technology as fast as I can from the lake. And that's fine because Jackie's just going to pan around and show some. Some people probably haven't been in since we've rearranged the store. So it's going to give them a nice little look at some of the new stuff that we have or where we've switched things around to. And, you know, sometimes when you come in, we, we tease uh, Stephanie when she comes. Every time she doesn't know where anything is when she comes to work. And that's weekly. So if you haven't been into the store for a while, you can see now just how much stuff there is and how much, how many, I say it's, oh, I like that, so many times every day. And that collection that Jackie's going back in the background there, go to your right, Jackie, just a little bit. That one back there, the Melange collection, we refer to that one quite a bit. Um, it's a great blender, great background collection. And on the table as she goes by, excuse the mess of anything you see laying around right now. We'll get it cleaned up um, right there in the trunk. That is our um, uh, Kim Deal's Farmhouse Christmas. And I will tell you, there is a quilt, uh, quilt top coming to you out of that collection soon as well. So that will be here for 100 days of Christmas. And Heidi, you just tell me whenever you're ready. I am ready. Kay. I am ready, and I have my first winner, and it is Joanne Reshatar. And her comment was that she had just gotten back from Lake Florida in Minnesota. Mm -hmm. So wonderful. Um, congratulations to Joanne Reshatar. Okay, so Joanne went and to Minnesota. Uh, so we got Minnesota, yep, Minnesota. She's gone to Minnesota. So let me pick another one. Okay, we're going towards another one. Now, what you guys can't see right now, and you'll be seeing um, when at the Iowa State Fair, we refer to everything on a stick at the fair. Mm -hmm. But what they can't see right now is what, Lizzie? <laughs> Our logo on a stick. Our logo is on a stick on the back of my phone, which is what we're filming from. So that is what we're looking at. So you can be looking for honey chicks on a stick. I love it. I love it. Okay, winner number two is Arlene V, and she commented that it was she was having a fun night tonight. Oh, well, so Arlene V. Arlene, we're glad to hear that you are having yes. a fun night because <laughs> bringing some entertainment. Yes, yeah, if we can do something, right? I mean, we could. And sing, the third but... winner, the third winner, isn't this fun? It is Kate Flory, the artist oh, yes. of our Choose She's Happy. happy. Uh, yep, and she ordered a sweatshirt tonight. She's so excited to be getting it in the mail. So that is awesome. Yeah, so um, Heidi, as people may not know that, Kate Flory designs us who did our necklaces and um, the spoons. Yeah. And that's who Heidi's referring yeah. to on that. So congratulations to all our winners. Again, we hope you have fun. Um, share this with somebody else. And you know what, Heidi, I should have um, mentioned, and I'll say it for you on behalf of you, because I know how touched you were by the people that did participate in our quilt for our cause. Yes. And we so raised, it was so exciting. We raised $9,000. And I talked with Chris Reinhardt yesterday, and um, she was speechless. <laughs> and it, it absolutely fills my heart to know that we're able to help her locally as well as to put that money towards the American Cancer Society researchers. So thank you to everybody who helped us. Yeah, and I know it touches all of our hearts. And um, we're happy that we can, again, help somebody else and maybe brighten somebody else's day every single day. So now that Heidi's crying and now that Jackie's crying, um, <laughs> <laughs> Lizzie, Lizzie's not going to do it here, no, so we'll be good. Uh, but anyway, if you have any questions, um, please do not hesitate to give us a call here at the studio um, or send us an email or a Facebook messenger. We are more than happy to help you. In fact, it brings us a lot of joy to be able to help you. So next time I will see you, well, I'm, you might see me, um, I think, in a couple days for for um oh yeah we have take home, take tuesday, home tuesday tomorrow, tomorrow. oh boy two o'clock yep and so then you're probably going to see us a lot because i think we also have a new collection maybe arriving this week too so stay on stay tuned for that unboxing as well but anyway we hope you had a good evening and we'll look forward to seeing you again have fun have a good night be creative